definitely a player to watch. Same with that WMB side, though. I'm excited to see this matchup. And very exciting to see as well in Super Mode Gaming. It is in fact not, I think, Lewis P, but instead we've got Gooch standing in for him. So they've got a bit of a British add-on during this uh, roster. And I'm, I'm looking forward to see how that goes. Of course, matching up rosters and switching them around doesn't always help, but this time a little bit of more brain in the Rosser can actually help, but fake or right Ooh, here, beautiful you... double touch. A lovely double touch to start things off, Team WMB. An early goal, good chop to the backboard, not the best of clears. Fake will take matters into his own hand, just taps that in. An early lead for WMB is a messy start in the defense for Super Mode, but as you mentioned, getting Gooch in is a player who I always rate pretty highly. I'm always disappointed to see that he's constantly in that sub spot in a lot of RLCS teams, never making that push. I think it really could give a good challenge. He seems to always step back and do his own thing. An exciting player for sure, but how will it affect the Super Mode side as well? Not the side they're used to here with Louis P subbing out. Will it be a bit of a detrimental effect? Or maybe they'll play better than usual? Maybe this will be the, the change you need? I, I'm, I'm really unsure how to uh, see it because I, I do think that if you play that really aggressive style of Rocket League with constantly putting up pressure onto your opponents, not ever letting go. You need three people to do it and not just two. And if you do bring Gooch on, yes, he can maybe play that play style, but I do not think it's as familiar to him. So that like really changed things up because a lot of space will be given him right there. The pass is given to Fakel for the backboard. And almost a two nail scene drop in there for Team WMD. The launch upfield, Econ cannot get it away, Gooch does keep the pressure on, the ball's up high, a drop down, Gooch cannot find the bump, Milo in front of net though, still in a dangerous position, it's trying to get brought round, a goal yet to defend by Super Mode, Fako taking it upfield, a chance to bring it around the corner, gets bumped by Boom quick in the process, they're able to get away for just a moment, as Gooch off the ceiling, dunks it past Milo, low on boost though, a difficult situation to react to, WMB getting it away, straight back in the counter attack is Milo up, shooting and scoring as well, WMB a two lead. Beautiful pass and a beautiful shot, Goach just too far forward and found himself in the, as a deer in a headlight, absolutely couldn't get to that ball and it just snuck in right there and that is a 2-0 lead for Team WMB and that's not the start that I was expecting from this super mode squad. No, definitely not the start expected. It's been quite trying to force his way into the net. The ball does go high, Rubik's trying to fall to the backboard. A second touch, dropping it down. Fako can find the save, but the pressure does remain from super mode. Trying to find that opening goal. A weak pass from Gooch. Been quite reacting to that very well though. Keeping that pressure on. But an unsatisfying touch leaves the ball back in control of WMB. Taking it clear, but not enough of it. It's been quite straight Ooh. back up. The pass to Gooch, a lovely shot, just going wide. The WMB defense nowhere to be seen, but they do still survive. Well, that was a great chance right there for Super Mode. I think that could have been the goal. It just wasn't. Some great defense, but the strike just wide. But another chance right there. Rubik safe by Fako and a precious starting to man for Super Mode. Seems like it's any moment now that they're actually going to find that goal, but. It's not the case just yet, and now on the counter attack, very dangerous with my boy Z Con almost getting a goal, but great defense by Gooch. And it's up and down. Teams bouncing around. It's only a matter of time before he goes in, but Econ, I don't know how you save that. I don't know how you save that. Real WMB. I just don't think they want to concede any time soon. No matter how many goals they'll score, they just don't want to concede. They hold on to this two goal lead with their life at the moment. One minute 30 left in the clock. They're looking really good at the moment. Looking like nothing's going to get past them. It's good at trying to get a touch, take it off field. Couldn't find it. Milo, though. Low on boost. Missing it in the offense. A bit of time for to push up field, but not connecting on the passes. Fakel. Taking up field. Not a much pressure on the super mode coming out. WMB. A walk in the park at the moment. Finally, a chance for super mode, though. Taking up field. Boom quick. Back out of the corner. Over to Rubik's. A pass out to Gooch. Just not connecting once again. Same old, same old, the super mode. They're trying to make these passes, just not connect and not good enough. And stuck back in their own half just once more. Like you said, it's same old, same old. It 
it's no creativity is being in in the super mode squad right now it's all just hit them all forward not even trying to find each other and if they do get hits it's just straight to team wmb defense they're playing this very well just sit back let them get the ball to you and then you can set up that counter take it's how we saw that second goal and with the way that things are going that might just be number three coming up as the demo from milo opened up some space but econ gets beat out now boom quick on the counter attack gets the dunk on Faco, but milo right there once again get the ball to safety Kevin trying to take it back up feel milo out to the side gonna try and follow but does get beat out by rubbits coming around zero burst can't be in a second touch and as he caught his eyes down, Gooch. 10 seconds left. Gooch can bang it in. It's going to be tough. Five seconds, WMB. A good kickoff will secure this game. Sumo's has to do a lot of hoping right now. Yeah, they hope. And, and a whole lot more than that. They need a miracle at this point. Hope just isn't enough. But kickoff's always dangerous. You don't know how it's going to go. And just a bit of space. Boomquick gets it over one. Onto Gooch. He catches it. But it does drop down. First game going to team with my boys. I wasn't expecting this, Boyo, but it's well deserved. Very well deserved win with my boys. Two to one. Looking absolutely dominant that first game. Some great plays all around and just lovely team play. It just shows how long they've been playing with each other. Lovely passes. Fakel to Milo. That opening goal really shows the remote what they had to be in store for. And well, they didn't deal with it that well. They were able to get one goal at the very end, but it was nowhere near enough. And I do think the way that Team WMB played this one was perfect. It was exactly how they needed to play to actually completely dismantle this super mode squad. Because if you have such an aggressive team, just let them come to you. Let them get the ball into your half but actually move one of your players upfield and get that very quick counter attack and that's exactly how they did get the goal in that game and it wasn't much that separated these two teams but it did feel like a decently comfortable win for team with my boys yeah i would say even though it's a one goal game at the end of that with my boys they were definitely a more comfortable team they're a more dominant team one goal slipping by in the last Five seconds. I'm not really going to hold that much against them there. Bit of garbage time. The game pretty much secured with a two goal lead with that little time left. And letting one slip by doesn't really take away from how dominant they were. They were looking excellent. And it's just a matter of fact can it be turned around by Super Mode? They maybe started getting in the shrine near the end, but with my boys held on very, very well. And I think the turning round point that you've raised is such an important one because this super mode squad, yes, it's good with uh, instead of Lewis P, but the semi-finals and finals that this team played were so enjoyable, Boyer. I don't know if you've watched it, but it was an absolute clash of the ties. It was two best of sevens in a row, first taking down Team Somnium and then just getting beaten out by Galaxy Bang. But the pace on the pitch was so high and the creativity in the plays was absolutely insane. Just have three people at the field trying and score if you can, and then completely just rush back if you can't, because the other team is then setting up their attack. And it was amazing to watch. We haven't seen it here yet. And that is what I'm looking for. I want Gooch to slot into that play style. Don't be afraid. Just move up field with the others and get this super mode squad rolling. Yeah, for sure. I want to get this remote team rolling, as we know how good they really can be. They are facing off against the Titans of France, WMB, top of that league. And well, it's going to be a tough match either way, but I do think we can see better from Super Mode. I hope this show is better, and I'm excited to see more. Um, I am too, boy. I really am too, and... and uh hopefully we're finally going to jump back into the game so we can actually see that happen and it's fun to see though because oh that's a quick goal right there for Faker off the kickoff that's not a 50 you should take and once again you find yourself in a deficit and well um a quick one to say the least three seconds and off the crossbar dropping down WMB already have a lead and well super mode they just let it happen pretty much it was off the kick of an unfortunate way to concede, but just slowly rolling in, slowly falling in. 
WMB takes full advantage, a 1-0 lead already and well, we've seen how good they could hold on last time. Will they do the same again or maybe, just maybe, Super Mode can do something different, bring it back. They're looking for passes, they're not connected, Milo taking it high. To the back board, he can't follow up, dropping down in front of net. They're taking away from the moment, Econ got the time but not using it well. Boom quick coming in, putting the pressure on. What's the remote do well? Put the pressure on these teams, dive in, cause them to make mistakes, put them in difficult situations, and that is what they need to do. We know they can do it, but just they need to do it more and more. But they're being a bit too nervous, a bit too worried. The shot's not connecting off the post and out. So, so close. And I just realized, boy, how long ago it is that we've actually seen Gucci's name because. I think the last time that I've really seen him compete was one of the skirmishes last season. And after that, he's always just been on that sub spot for the With My Girls. And after that, I don't think I've really seen him in any tournament. So it might be a change of pace for him as well. I don't know if he can still hack this pace. Right now, he doesn't seem too much out of his pace. But Econ makes it to on the other side with a great pass from Milo. A lovely pass off the wall and round it goes and an easy tap in for Econ there. Milo, a lovely, lovely pass. One minute 30 into the game. WMB 2 up once again. Looks like a similar story to game number one. Suramo just cannot do anything about it. WMB, they get the lead to secure it and they just seem to be able to hold on. Like a fish on dry land. They're gasping for air right now. And they're not finding any. Team WMB is not letting them. The unmounting amount of pressure. They just keep it coming, keep it coming. Don't even let them get out of defense. This one time they're allowed to, but the defense is just so solid. The spacing is great. Team WMB, if they keep playing like this, they're just absolutely going to run away with this series. Ball goes high, no follow up. Milo taking it around the side wall to the backboard. It goes, they can't get that second touch, and Boomquick gonna have to back off. Rubix is there, connecting in the midfield, but Econ can continue the pressure to the backboard once more. Saved by Gucci and out to the side. So Remote's holding on from this attack, but he needs to break out. Get a counter going as Rubix taps it hanging and try and get the clear away, but dropping down in front of net once more. They just cannot get out of the half. Constant pressure from WMB holding them in. And I think at this point, boy, their only option is to really start playing much, much more aggressive, but also more physical. You know your opponent's defense is on point right now, but their offense is too, is a great counter attack. Milo once again gets served on a platter by Eco. No one to contest, open goal, and a great 3-0. 3-0 to WMB and Super Mode falling further and further behind as time goes on. Only 2 minutes 15 seconds on the clock. They need 3 goals. They struggled to score one in game number 1. They're yet to score one in game number 2. Puts to tell me it'll be anything different for this game going on. Rubik's taking out field though, pinching to the ground. Can't get a pass Faco, but been quite taking it high. No pass found and it'll be sent him straight back to Gooch. Taking it high. No follow up. Oh, what a pass. Potential shot. Faco down to Econ. The save from Gooch. Oh, so close. And Gooch has to find a good clear away. Off to the side. Finding absolutely no one. Straight to Milo. And up to Faco once more. WMB taking full advantage of the most mistakes. And there's been a good few of them. Wasted passes. Wasted chance. They've added to the back with a chance right there. Barely slipping by. An easy save away. And once again, Super Mode having a chance. Not capitalising and they have to pay the price. They're trailing by three with one minute 30. Not looking good one bit. Definitely is it, and that is looking worse. It's almost a great goal by Fago. It just gets saved out, and ah, this Team WMB squad is playing so good right now, and Super Mode really, really struggling. And right there, they do get one because Fago gets put into a, an awkward position, to say the least, but 3-1 is not convincing for them so far, Boyer. No, definitely not. Both goals that Supermode have got haven't been the most impressive, haven't been the most threatening, really. WMB always had a pretty good lead of decent time left to hold on, so nothing ever too threatening from Supermode so far. They have a goal now, they need two more to try and equalise. A bit more time, 
but it took them four minutes to score one, and they needed one minute to score two. Looking unlikely, they're stuck in their own half, off the post and out it went. Still giving that two goal difference, but they're struggling to get the ball upfield, struggling to get an attack going. Finally a launch, but no one connecting the passes. Going absolutely nowhere. Shots being wasted, a shot for Milo, slapping into the corner, 4 to 1 to WMB, this team cannot be stopped. 4 1, that is devastating for Super Mode, who are looking like your regular C3 team right now because there's no chemistry, there's no passing, it's just hit, C ball, hit ball for this uh, Super Mode squad right now, and Team WMB creating so much space playing as a team beautifully that's a shot from goats getting one more back but it won't be enough in this match and they need to step it up for the next one to get the series a little bit closer but two goals in it 23 seconds with two goals in it it's just not enough time for super mode wmb looking very very solid looking like they're going to easily take this game and Get the to match point. And an easy one at that point. An, an absolutely unexpected easy one at that. I think I've really expected a lot from the Superstar squad coming out as one of the top seeds from Spain. And Spain is that one region that can really make magic happen. Maybe they make magic happen in this last second that we'll play in this game. I doubt it. Maybe if they pull off their patented Spanish kickoff, maybe. Maybe we'll see one. Um, I don't want to, you know, kill your hopes already, just say that I yeah, find it <laughs> eerie and likely. Yeah, <laughs> it's not happening. But I think in, in general, I, I like the ending from Super Promote, but it wasn't impressive. It seemed more like Team WMB knew it was one and we're fine just letting their foot off the gas for a few seconds. So. I don't want to give too much credit to Supermote right there, and I really think they need to step it up, but it doesn't really feel like they have any chemistry right now. They're not passing to each other. It's just three individuals trying to win a game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think the kickoffs as well, not going really well in their favor. But that first goal, with the first goal of the game, really setting the tone, the easy kickoff goal. And once again, the great pass through WMB. Lovely all around, Milo over to Econ and a lovely shot. So Rimmel just not getting those same kind of passes that WMB are getting. And the team play really showing that sticking with the same roster definitely does help. It helps a ton. And I think we're actually going to see the same roster taking a 3-0 lead right here because I do not think that Supermote can turn it around enough. But we're going to have to see in the next five minutes. There's always some hope. Even if it might be a little bit screwish. That was in the side by Rubix, but no one connecting as the ball goes high. Econ cannot connect either. Launched up field. Boom quick's there. Just flying straight past the ball. It's up to Faco. Taking up field. Couldn't get the second touch, but it still goes high. And Rubix trying to get it center. Find a pass to a teammate. No one's there. Milo all the time when I to launch that back up field. Ten to shot for Econ. Getting saved away by Gooch. Rubix into the corner. Straight to Milo, but. Not able to control it well enough. Coming off the back wall, a chance for us to remember starting to develop. But just the lack of a follow up, lack of commitment to the ball, really is their biggest hurdle right now. So many chances, so little commitment. Yeah, that is 100% boo, true boyo, but they are starting to link up a bit more now. It's just missing that one. If he got on that angle, that could have been a goal, but. These Spanish squads really love cutting rotations to keep the speed up, and I just do not feel like Gooch is on the same level. And Faco, that's a gorgeous angle. Doesn't go in. Milo doesn't go in either. That was surely the one nil, but he didn't go in. And now on the other hand, Goon Quick, if he gets the passes, might be a goal instead. He doesn't get a great one, and Supermote really, really gets away nicely there. Very, very nicely indeed. That could have been an opening goal for WMB off the post and out it went. So, so close. A ridiculous angle from Faco. Just missing out. But it's only made now no. Two minutes almost off the clock. And looking at it from some well, open. That's in. Yeah, that demo completely opened up the net. That was some great, great coordination. Get rid of that last man and then just hit the ball 
off the side wall Gooch with some good aggressivity as well and unexpectedly we see super mode suddenly leading yeah very unexpectedly i was just commenting i'm saying it's a bit closer but i still think wmb have had the better game at the moment but they do get the first goal have a one will lead the first time they've had a lead this whole series it could only be extended to two and there it is right there boom quick banging it in the three minutes he's actually on the clock it's two or to super mode Aye, 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 this is going really quick for Team WMB. We were praising them for how well they were playing, how clean they were playing, and now suddenly they've conceded two in a row, not looking like the same WMB that we saw in the last series, or the last games, I should say, and Supermore really switching it up nicely, completely getting their act back together. And let's let them to leading this game 2-0. On the way back up field. Milo trying to push up, put some pressure on his Gooch out to the corner, gets it past one. Lands the fake away, takes it high over Recon. That board, it drops down, also close for Recon, but fake will finish it off either way. And we're straight back into one goal and at half the game left to go. Boom quick with an uncharacteristic miss, just leaves the net completely wide open in three blue cars, making sure that it does go in and Team WMD finding their way back into this game and maybe gonna take the series in this game as they are 2-0 up but a great little passing play Rubix down to boom pick makes the lead two again and super mode adding a completely different team they're making these passes they're connecting well they're taking advantage of the opportunities they're getting they've got a two goal lead in WMB struggling to deal with this new super mode side these passes coming out which were not connecting before not expected to connect finally are if i do something good with it and wmb just very surprised and i paying the price of that oh that is beautiful almost a pass down from Gooch to um another of his teammates finding the back of the net but nicely Turned away, and I think you raise a very valid point here. Suddenly, we're seeing the super mode play style. We're seeing these infield passes. We've seen three men in offense rather than only one or two, and it's working out for them. Keep this going, and they might find their way back. Gucci was with the double touch, but boom, quick instead. No, it's just to the side. Just to the side, it's Milo in the corner. I can't get a touch on it. Another chance, another shot to the corner, and away from Rubik's. And up the side ball it goes to the ceiling and they try and get another play going it's then that lead to three that would surely be it a shot from Gooch in the top corner three goal lead super mode a great turnaround that was some beautiful spanish play you can see the pressure is staying there you do not allow your team uh, opponents to even touch the ball. You keep it close, you take it up the ceiling, it doesn't matter. Just get that ball in front of net, keep taking shots, and it will go in. Four, two, one. In game number three, super mode. An excellent turnaround, looking so much better from those first two games, and WMB not able to deal with it at the moment. Can Super Mode keep it up? They're going to need next two games. I think they can safely say they'll take these games now. A free goal with the one minute left. It's looking pretty secure. Maybe WMB can pull off a medical, but it feels very unlikely. In Super Mode, I'm so half, much happier with this gameplay. Yeah, definitely, boy. It is what we expect from them. It's what we hope to see, but Faco getting one back here. I don't know how he got another one to the touch on that. That was a backboard read. Boomquake did save it, but Faco was floating after it, finding the back of the net. 45 seconds to go. It is very possible, but very hard too, with the way that Supermote's been playing. Yeah, very, very possible indeed, but as you said, very, very difficult. Is he coming on the backboard? Is he able to tap it high out to the side? It's Faco on the backboard. Cannot find anything, another shot. Easily saved by Faco, they need to make a run up field, they need to do it soon. They're two goals down, with 30 seconds left in the clock, it's a launch up field. And boom quick. Taking his time, leaving it in the corner. Milo has to back off, though, with Gooch launching that straight back up field. Can't get a second touch. It's Faco on the ball, over one, pinching it down around the corner, it goes. He can't get a second touch on it, it drops off in front of net. It will and does not be finished. Oh, five seconds in the clock. Super mode are gonna take game number three and put themselves a little bit closer to coming back.
And this game was necessary too, Boyo, because this league, there's not that many weeks. If you do get completely swept, you're going to have a really, really touch uh, poor position later on in the tournament. It might just make you lose out on playoffs, which is not what you want, obviously. So good for Supermo to take this game, but... It's a tough series to call, I think, because if Supermode keeps this up, I completely see them take a the next game. But so far, it's been so inconsistent. It's been two near horrible games, and then suddenly they pop off. If they do that again next series or next game, it's going to be amazing, and they can take the next one. Otherwise, ooh, they're in some trouble. They're in some trouble indeed. And just looking at those stats, Boom Click, two goals, two assists, and... Such a good turnaround, 100% goal participation, and he's passing, he's shooting, he was doing everything in between, and it was so great seeing some great passes from Super Mode, and it was just constant great shots and great passes that really put WMB on their toes, and they've really struggled to get those saves. And it, I think it wasn't necessarily that Team WMB was struggling with the saves as much as it was Super Mode playing the type of offense that we expect from them. I think to see them finally throw three people upfield, keep the pressure up, keep those shots coming, a passable infield, get a boomer into the bottom left corner, that is what we see. And what we also see is Faco changing his name to uh, what I believe in French is called please, Super Mode. Please do not reverse sweep. And he makes sure right here by passing the ball to Econ that they get a good setup for not getting reverse swept. One already at WMB and Faco, you know, I don't know. I can't read it. Maybe you can understand a little bit, but I mean, I, I just can be, I can I can barely speak English, so it's already a start right <laughs> there, but. WMB, the two would take a one goal lead and rivets in his own half, just dribbling in front of his net. Doing what Faco says, really, trying to give him a good chance to not get the first swept as the ball ends up field. Straight back by Milo into the corner off the back wall. Another shot, another save, and the corner once more. Milo low on boost, can't get a second touch, he'll have to back off and boost it. But the boost that he has, taking up field, gets bumped though, barely. And what is going on in this game? Mess all around. Everyone's bumping, everyone's oh. driving past the ball. <laughs> A potential chance, what is this? Of the four, of the copper, and I don't say, I don't know what's going on. They did 10, what just happened? Just say, I don't know. It's always nice when the players don't even let you normally cast because of what's going on, but Faco, that was going to get saved by Gooch if Faco left that ball. So I don't know how he got the angle, but he did get the angle. And I think the SVP, the s'il vous plaît, the please in his name, is making sure that Super Mode backs down and the 2-0 lead is being given so far to Team W. MB setting themselves up nicely to take this series. Every single time WMB have started off with a two-goal lead, they have won that game. Game one, two, and now game number four. They've had a two-goal lead to start things off. Will that streak of winning continue or will Super Mode get back in their stride, decide that Faco swimming, swimming them with the French name maybe isn't as much as they thought and they will start fighting back or maybe just maybe WMB, they've learnt their lesson and will not let the remote slip by this time. But uh, boy, I just want to mention, yesterday was such a great day for EU bubble scene where we saw um, Archie and, and Jorius taking uh, their path all the way to the spring series but this is also a U bubble scene it's inconsistent it's messy but it is enjoyable to watch definitely and it's all about developing these players the more and more they get to play the more and more you get to improve and superstar league a great addition to the eu bubble scene giving these players something to strive for a decent prize as well all thanks to nice cactus and well you just see how good these teams really are. It's a lovely shot, almost slipping in. Econ does get the save out to the side once more. Coming centre, a dunk down. Back to the corner, WMB stuck in their own half, but a boom up field from Faco gives a bit of time in the defence, gets some boost, getting possession as Econ's high. Launching that straight back, Faco going for a bump. Couldn't find anything too substantial. Milo getting demoed though. A chance for boom quick, finding the pass to Rubik. Back to Gurch, a lovely shot, but saved by Milo, up to the side to Econ. And WMB, they're holding on to this two-goal lead. 
They are holding on, but in a great fashion too. So far though, but Gush with the drop down, almost finding Rubix back. That could have been an amazing goal. Just turned wide though. The, the absolute confidence that we saw last game. What well, isn't there this one? Unfortunate, but that was a great bump. Almost making enough save. Boom quick to find the back of the net, but with minutes just passing without too much happening, this is one hell of a task so far for Super Modus. They can't find anything. They need to really switch up now, Boyer. They really do. And May was up to the bat, but trying to get a second touch, but it is put away by Boom quick. Back out to the midfield with Econ. Keeping that pressure on. Not giving us a remote time to break out as Baco dropping it down. And Rubix and Boomquit looking lost in a pitch right there as they're just driving <laughs> in circles up to the side wall. Gooch is there to clean up the mess and a pass out to the midfield over to Rubix. A lovely shot that easily saved oh. it lands to the backboard. Coming in once more though, that's got to slip in. A little what? bit closer. Absolutely great. This is what we are asking for. You need to do something and you need to do something now, Supermote. Gooch somehow gets the ball to the middle and boom kick exactly where it needs to be. There was a bit of a miscommunication earlier between the members of Supermote. This was done very nicely though. And now Gooch with another opportunity onto the crossbar and saved away by Milo. That could have been it, but with a minute still to go, there's plenty of time, plenty of chances for the Supermote squad to take us to game five. Yeah, one minute, one goal in it and boom quick. Gonna take us to game number five right now. The dribble up field saved by Milo and Nikon. Setting back with a short drop down. Baco takes it high. We're gonna try and follow, get the flip reset. A potential shot, easily saved by Gooch, but a very close second touch. The pressure of Enzo and Milo's up. He gets beat out. Launch back up field. The back for once more. With 30 seconds left, the remote starting to develop oh. an attack, dropping down. A shot to the crossbar, another one follows up by Gooch and we're all tied up. They find it, Bolero. They finally find it. It took a couple of bones. It took a backboard shot. It took a crossbar, which was 100% intended. It definitely wasn't a bad shot that landed perfectly in front of Gurch. And Supermodo back in this, back into this game. And if they manage to take it all the way back into this series. Yep, it's 2-2 two to two in game number 4, 2-1 in series to WMB, Superman was edging ever so closer with a launch up field from Rubik, trying to get some pressure on, pretend over a last second goal, avoid the overtime, but it's Milo, taking the ball up field up the side ball himself, low on first, pass at centre, cleared away, overtime looking likely now, the ball about to touch the ground, going to be overtime, we're into game number four, unless something magical can happen. There we go, overtime it is. Oh, and I want this to go on. I want Super Mode to take this because it seems like they just need some time to get started in each game. And once they're rolling, we get to see that beautiful style of Rocket League, that enjoyable Rocket League that creates so much entertainment and so much excitement. But this is a pass to Milo. What a save by Rubik just turned by that could have been the end but it just wasn't but the pressure isn't done yet Ooh, that pass down from rubik's to boom quick was very good creates some breathing time for super mode and they get away nicely in the early stages of this overtime cleared up field boom quick cannot get a pass econ out to the midfield econ trying to follow up can't get the second touch though and rubik's taking it away he's got the boost to make a play but Saved by Fako, another Ooh. shot. Saved by Milo, close again. All three up, and they're all able to find the save. Barely, a bit of a triple commit, a bit of a messy play. But they do get the save to do that. Bond with another send down. That's going in. We're going to game number five. Gooch finds it after the demo. That is great by Boom Grit. Finds the demo. He immediately turns around just in case that ball wasn't in. But Gooch made sure it was in. Ooh, Fako, your name is very dangerous now, my boy. I think you're in a heap of trouble if Supermote takes this. Definitely so. Two to two in the series. Some close games these last few. Well, Supermode winning 4 to 1, maybe not as close, but this one's certainly a lot closer. Supermode coming back from 2 0 down, and they take it 3 to 2. Excellent plays all around, and also. 
So maybe not so excellent plays, a bit of a <laughs> mess situation in front of goal now and again, but we had some um, lovely shots, a good bit of pressure to get the equaliser, and of course we had our lovely overtime goal to take it at the very end. The Super Mode squad really turning it around after game one and two. Game one and two, very rough for them. They couldn't fight anything against this team WMB. They were doing super well to just fall back, let Super Mode come to them and completely punish it. But as soon as Super Mode started to get more creative in offense, as soon as they started to go for infield passes, they went for demos. It certainly created so much space on the pitch and just the pressure alone made team WMB absolutely crumble and if they can keep this up in game five and not give away two free goals i see them taking this series but team wmb go back to the way you were playing let super mode come but be aware of their creativity be aware of the pace and you might just run away with a victory here they may just get it against all the odds wmb that number one seed from france super mode coming in number two very respectable finish, but WMB, the definite favourites right here, and well, their backs against the wall, reverse sweep territory. We all ruled out Super Mode after that game number two, thinking it was all definitely over. But they proved us wrong, they've came back, they're back with a vengeance, trying to take it all. It's game number five, and I am excited. I can hear you're excited, boy. It's always nice to hear you excited, because the play often just feels your excitement and gets just that like, exciting. But I just want to get some props to Gooch and how he's adapted with these boys. Like we said, normally they play with Louis P. Gooch is the stand-in right here, but he's found himself to be the hero more often than a villain in this series. And that's the 1-0, another demo. And Rubix finds the back of the net. We oui, wee, oui, yes, yes. He does it for the 0-1. A lovely demo and a lovely bump on the last defender as well. Fayo could not make it back in time. Super Mode have a one goal lead. And you just see how important demos and bumps are. We've seen it yesterday from Endpoint, Virtuoso especially, pushing it all out. An excellent player when it comes to demos and bumps and shows how worthwhile it is. If you can eliminate one player from the game, well, it's such an easier situation to go. Super Mode have a one goal lead. WMB, they're trailing behind. They need to fight fast. There's plenty of time to do so, but they do not want to get in their sweat. Uh, yeah, possibly one of the worst feelings in Rocket League that is getting reverse swept, and especially for its team WMB side. They were playing so well. Milo finding Econ all the time with those beautiful breakaways, but it's not happened since. Right then, it's been scrappy goals for them, but this pass down from Milo to Faker almost getting their first great opportunity. And now they're going for the disruptive play. They're going for the demos and bumps. It might just work out for Team WMB. Rubik says up, pinching it away, dropping it down. And he will be cast by Econ launching up field. Faker dropping it down in front of net. It's up high. A follow up from Faker just going wide. It's a remote. They hold by that one goal leader, Rubik, trying to take it upfield. Gets beat out by Milo. In at the corner. A drop down in front of net. He can't get a demo on boom clip and nothing comes of it. Good going upfield by himself and a chance for Rubik to sneak up. Nothing pass. A chance right here. That's going to be it. And what a piece. Three minutes left in the car. We're all tied up. And I just called it out. Milo, I. Econ and those are the two players that constantly find each other on the breakaway and that's exactly how that goal happens. Milo popping it up, Econ the quickest one and it doesn't matter if you're back, if you're not far back enough, that just sails past you and it is the 1-1 and this game 5 in a close series it has a close game so far, not even half played and both teams finding the back of the net once. They're going to have to do it once more if they want to take this series. Milo, backing off, it's launched up field. Econ, the last man back, taking it up the back wall and trying to get it away. The pressure does remain. And quick trying to bring it centre. Fako's there, got the first to take it by himself. He gets a good 50, it still goes high. Milo, back flipping up field. Leaves Econ by himself, out for position, gets a pass one, trying to follow up, can't get a second touch. And a breakaway attempt by Super Mode getting shut down as Fako keeps the pressure on, trying to bring it centre, launch back to Econ. And if he takes it high, 
go up and down. Oh, what a shot. What a shot, but what a defense. Where was it? That just went straight up of Rubik's and Gooch just slowly reversing into goal. Nobody challenging this. This shouldn't be a goal, and this is how you just gift away this series to Team WMB. 2-1, to they've got the lead back. They couldn't hold on last time, oh. and they do it last time around. I say no, as it's 2-2 two to two already. Two minutes left. Superman, they're not going down without a fight. This is the speed that you love to see. Everyone so quick. The kick off, the follow-up by Gooch, and the follow-up after that by Boom Quick. And this Superman squad not giving up, and rightly so, because they're playing out of their minds. They just have to mind that breakaway because it might just result into one more goal. That could be the end of them if that happens. Ball on that field. Econ not able to follow up. Gooch can get it out to the side. The ball goes high. Gooch can get a touch away. Pressure remains. Boom quick. Need to clear up field. The energetic by Econ WMB. A lot of pressure right now. Trying to take the lead once more. One minute 30 left in the clock. Trying to take that lead. They do not want to go to another overtime. But when it in regulation, a lot easier for them. To a piece. Econ going for them. Was not able to find Fake almost getting that dunk. But so, so close. Not close enough. Oh, this is so tense. I'm holding my breath right now, boy. I think neither team wants this to go to overtime. There's just so much added pressure, but you don't want to concede either. So this last minute, you should play pretty risk-free, and I doubt we're going to see a goal in regulation time until unless we see something magical. Boom, quick. No, that's just why. Nice try, but not good enough. And oh, he'll be hitting himself in the head if Super Mode ends up losing this. Oh, that is such an unfortunate way to miss right there. A tie game. Game five. And you're hitting it wide. 30 seconds left on the clock. And WMB thanking their lucky stars at the moment. They're still in this game. And it's coming around the corner. A touch out mid. A potential shot saved by Gooch. Up high to the side ball once more. A pass trying to be found, just not connecting. Another launch up field, Super Mode trying to break out. Potential chance. Baco can't get it round. A pass out mid. Baco dropping it down. Straight to Boom Quick. Trying to take it high over. Milo gets the save. Launches it away. Overtime. Looking definite now. The clock dives down to zero. We are approaching overtime. Oh my lord, I love me some game fives, but it always makes me so tense and having played a few myself for the place, it's worse, but not if Boom Quick gets that too good. And once again, it's a kick of goal for Super Mode and they've pulled it off. Fake it doesn't matter what you put into your name, you're gonna get reverse swept by this Super Mode team. Super Mode against all Oz. They take down WMB, they get the reverse sweep, and an overtime kickoff winner. They take the series 3 to 2, and they get their first win of the Superstar League, joining Total Shadow and Quality Control in that upper half of the group. Oh, that is one way to end off the Group A because. It's been enjoyable so far. We saw RJM facing off a quality control, which was already amazing since it was the Jorius versus Archie matchup. But, um, oh, sorry, versus JJJ, of course. Um, that is not what we um, expected, I think. I think I saw Jorius taking that, but it was an enjoyable series, to say the least, this uh, Monday. And uh, the other game was exactly the same. Yeah, and what... A performance the remote, as we said, we ruled them out completely after that game number two. We thought it was going to be an easy 3 0 sweep for WMB. Get it done with, let's move on, but never mind. Super mode coming back, getting out of their sweep. Showing them why we should never doubt them. They take the win. Congrats to them. And amazing goals scored throughout, of course, as per usual. From both sides, a great performance. Definitely, but not a great start in this pool from the French sides. Both Team WNB and Zulu Chang do not find a win. 
Zulu Chen getting swept uh, as well as Team WMB. Team WMB, of course, reverse swept in the series that we just saw while Zulu Chen uh, got beaten out 3 0 by Total Shaden, which was somewhat unexpected to say the least. And then we saw quality control early on taking on a Georgia Joe, which went into the favor of quality control. They won 3 1. So those are the three teams that are there with a win, which basically ends off Group A for Week 1 and uh, means that now we finally get to go on to Group B because there's some very exciting teams up there. Unfortunately, one of the matches that was supposed to be played today, Team Somium versus uh, Galaxy Bank, will not be played today because of some issues regarding the players. So that will be played another time. But instead, we'll be back 45 minutes later with Servette Geneva Esports and RGM. But we couldn't do this without our lovely sponsors over at Nice Cactus, wouldn't we now, Boyo? Um, definitely not. All oh, thanks to Nice Cactus. This is possible. Sponsoring the Superstar League. Giving the European bubble scene something to work for, something to fight for. Great tournaments all around. And of course, every single Wednesday, the Nice Cactus Weekly. And now on Sunday as well, the Nice Cactus Cup is open to also get signed up for the Nice Cactus Week, the Nice Cactus Cup, Sundays and Wednesdays. You do not want to miss them. We'll always be here streaming them for your entertainment. But get in there, get playing and give it your best shot.